Thank you to the good people of the electorate of Newtown for returning me to this place and to allowing me to continue to represent you. I acknowledge that this place and the electorate of Newtown sits on Gadigal land and pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. And excuse me for skipping all of the detailed thank yous and niceties and formalities that may be protocol when a member is re-elected to this place. But I know that you know that we no longer have time to follow the usual protocols. We cannot any longer just continue to wait for current or future governments to take the warning seriously when it comes to the climate crisis that we are all facing. It is time for us to stop waiting for weak oppositions that continue to disappoint us and for governments to take action on the climate crisis we need. Instead, what we need now is the time to act. We need to act now. We have lost the chance for an orderly transition when it comes to climate action, and the good people of the electorate of Newtown know this all too well. They know that this is an emergency that can no longer wait. Those in power for decades have known the catastrophe that they were creating, and yet they have continued to keep approving the opening of coal mines, building of more polluting toll roads, and failing to show the leadership to move us beyond zero emissions. We simply do not have the luxury of ignoring the climate crisis any longer. We don't need to slow emissions, we need to stop them. And this means we cannot burn more coal, drill for more gas, and keep clearing more forests. Those with the power to act have not listened. Well, it is time to listen to the true leaders in our community. It is time to listen to the voices on the streets and in the communities who are leading the fight, who are breaking the rules and who are forcing those in power to finally sit down and listen to the experts and act. To follow the lead of the student climate strikers, of the seed mob, of the climate activists who occupied the federal parliament, of the knitting nanas, to all of those who have taken non-violent direct action to stand up for their local communities and for our humanity and for our planet, and to those who have engaged in civil disobedience and have put climate crisis front and centre on the agenda, I say join the Extinction Rebellion because we can no longer wait for governments to act to address the serious climate crisis that emerged. And to all of those people who have been shouting on the streets, who have been standing there in protest, can I say that I hear you and that the Greens hear you, and we will continue to give you a voice in this place. As Swedish teenager Greta Thunberg began walking out of school on Fridays and sparked a global movement said when she spoke to the British Parliament, and I quote, around the year 2030, 10 years, 252 days and 10 hours away from now, we will be in a position where we will set off an irreversible chain reaction beyond human control that will most likely lead to the end of our civilization as we know it. That is, unless in that time, permanent and unprecedented changes in all aspects of society have taken place, including a reduction of CO2 emissions by at least 50%. Just yesterday, a UN biodiversity report reported that one million species will be lost, many in the coming decade. Children and teenagers are not protesting and striking from school because they think it's fun. They are doing it because they need us to act so that they actually have a future. And I appreciate for many people that this might sound extreme, that it might sound scary, that it might be something that it is better to ignore. But we know that if we ignore, the irreversible damage of climate change will mean that we, as a species, will no longer be able to function as we can function now. And so to the Extinction Rebellion movement, to the amazing brave activists that are standing up and using nonviolent direct action to disrupt our society as we know it, to make the people in power listen, I say all power to you. And I say that whether or not you are a student striker or part of the Extinction Rebellion, that I will be here in this place, standing up for your voice, putting your voice in this chamber and making sure that we say it is time to face our fears, it is time to rebel, and it is time to take the action on climate change that we need. And to all of those members who may think that it's fun to still support coal mines, but at the same time say selfie with a student striker, I urge you to heed the words of Greta when she says, we have not taken to the streets for you to take selfies with us and tell us that you really admire what we do. We children are doing this to wake up the adults. We children are doing this for you to put your differences aside and start acting as you would in a crisis. <laughs>